here's a short story about me. Farzan is Amen. It's my name. And this is me with my official photo for first year of the school taken when I was five. From the first year of school, they force girls to wear compulsory hijab in Iran. It's like forcing them to hide their real identity. It's like you have two personas, a real one in your private life and the false one in a bigger social scale. After the Islamic Revolution in 1978 in Iran, we have faced the harshest discriminations, but it never stopped us, never ever could stop us from fighting for our freedom. Singing solo was banned after the revolution for women, but it never stopped me from following my dreams. Women of Iran has had very strong voice in claiming for what they deserve and they are still paying for it. Yesterday, Nazanin Zaghari was freed from prison after five years, but she might face new charges. Nasrin Sutude, Atena Daemi, Nargis Mohammadi, and many more are amazing examples of women's power. This is last year at the Glad Cafe. It was in Parsi. A few years ago, I was thinking maybe the best situation would be someday that there is no International Women's Day. And then I kind of thought that, no, why not celebrating for these incredible beings? Honestly, before filming this, I Googled if there is an international day for men and apparently there is and it's 19th of november good to know i will remember did you notice any difference something like i was more lively i'm i'm not saying i'm not anymore but honestly that was the last event that i performed before just before the lockdown i think a week after that they announced national lockdown and I feel lucky to be one of the people who could play very last for the very last time at the Glad Cafe for International Women's Day. I was hosting an event and it was an open mic night. I'm going to sing a song, one of the songs that actually I recorded years ago uh, when I came here to Glasgow as part of my project. Uh, as I had my artist residency with the CCA and uh, it was an album called Z Band talking about Middle Eastern women and it was the message was empowering women to have their own voices. <laughs> I know you've 
dance with us girl Thanks everyone.